Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we're going to cover moving objects to the front or to the back. We can move objects to the back of the page. We can move objects to the front. We can move objects in front of other objects. Basically moving objects around the way they're stacked or piled on top of each other in Corel Draw. Now we're still working with basic and fundamental objects and going through the fundamentals, but we will get into more advanced things as the series progresses. I'm going to be working with the pick tool. I'll select that. I'm going to zoom out. So I'll pull back on my center mouse wheel. And I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to take a look at selecting an object. And then if I want to move it. And the reason I'm zooming out is so you can see the right click contextual menu. I'll right click here and I'll go to order. And you can see that I have many options for moving the object. You can move it to the front of the page, to the back of the page, to the front of the layer, to the back of the layer, forward one, back one, in front of or behind. So if I want to move that to the back of the page, I'll select that or hit Control End. And I just did that and that moved that from the front to the back of the page. Now let's say I want the rectangle to be in front of the ellipse. I'll right click on that and then I'll come down to order again and I'll select in front of. You'll see my cursor change to that arrow and then I'll click on the ellipse or the circle and now it's been moved in front of the ellipse. And there's shortcuts for all of these that you'll find right in the menu bar. So if I want to move this back to the back of the page, I just have to go to hold down control, hit end, and that'll move that to the back of the page. Hit start, it'll bring it to the front. And you can see how all of those work based on the right click contextual menu, order, and then here's all of your shortcuts. So we can see how we can move these objects around with shortcut keys and the right click contextual menu. Now we can also move objects around from the object manager, which is a docker. We'll come over here and here's the object manager docker. We'll open that and we can see if we scroll up, these are the objects that we have selected and it's this rectangle. And then here we have the triangle. And here we have the polygon. And here we have the ellipse. Now these are all in different places. Now if I want to bring them together in the object manager, I could select them all lasso. We'll cover grouping later, but I'm going to group. That'll bring them all together into a group of four objects. Now I'm just going to ungroup them. Now here are my objects. I'll take my ellipse, which is in the back or on the bottom. I can left click, hold down, you can see the line, and move that up in front of the rectangle, holding down my left mouse button, release, and that'll now be moved to the front. I could move it behind the rectangle, left click, hold down, drag that, see the black line, release that in the object manager, and it'll be moved to behind the rectangle but still in front of the polygon which is the triangle. So we can move the objects through the right click contextual menu with shortcut keys 
and also through the object manager. So now if I want to select this soccer ball and bring it to the front of the design, I just go control and then I'll go to start and that'll bring that to the front. Now I didn't have all of that grouped. I had just a piece of that. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll practice here. We'll select everything again. I'm going to hold down shift and deselect the stars. Then I'm going to group that. Then I'll hold down control and go to start and that will bring that to the front of the page. Now if I want to be behind my soccer text, I could right click, go to order, behind and click on the soccer text. And that would send that to the back. Now I've got another object there. So I would once again right click, order, I go to behind and select this contour outline there and that would put my soccer ball in position. So that's how we move objects forward and backwards in CorelDRAW relating to the page or the layers or the way they're stacked up on top of each other in CorelDRAW. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next video.